All right, welcome to another episode of Medicine Mondays. You're truly Dr. Barry Pierre, favorite board certified internist, host of Medicine Mondays, lunch learner Dr. Barry, amongst a slew of other things. And we have a special guest, one of the most featured guests here on the show. You know her very well. Maria Davis Pierre, co-founder of Autism and Black. Maria, again, thank you for joining this week on Medicine Mondays. We got a special discussion today. Let's give give the honest a little introduction on who you are, just in case we got some new subscribers, some new followers. Give a little introduction of who you are, and then uh, let's get right into it. Hi, everyone. For the new followers, first and foremost, I am wife to Dr. Barry, mother to our children, and I'm also a licensed mental health counselor, meaning I am a clinician here in Florida. And I am also the co-founder of Autism in Black, our organization, which was founded because of our oldest daughter and going through the journey of getting her autism diagnosis. We educate, empower, and support Black parents who are raising Black autistic children. And we also work with organizations, hospitals, schools, anything and anyone who is working with the Black disability community on how to be less harmful to the Black disability community. So that's just a little bit about me. So typically, Maria, when we get you on, we're usually either talking about autism, Black autism space, or we're talking about the Autism of Black Conference, which again, not coming up anytime soon, but details <laughs> will be when it comes around. But I'm actually very excited because we're talking about a brand new event Yes. under the autism and black umbrella that this is our first year this has been something that's been requested so to speak can we give a little how we got to this point let's just kind of put our cards on the table now right let's talk about this summit that is coming up that we are very excited could you give us the date again on that summit the summit i want to give the name too are we holding the name off We'll hold the name off and then we're going to yeah, go. The summit is October 19th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. It's a virtual summit, y'all. It is a virtual summit. That means you can be at the comfort of your home and enjoy this summit. So now let's give the introduction. Let's talk about the summit, right? Let's give them the details. I want to talk a little bit about the generation of like genesis of how we even got to the point where we were even doing the summit on top mm -hmm. of, you know, the fact that we already do a conference. Let's let's give them some details in there. Sure. So our summit is the Black Autistic Girls and Women Summit. So we are honing in and focusing all on the Black Autistic Girl and Women experience, what it's like for us, how to better support us. So that's the main focus of this summit, and we're very excited about it. You want to talk about the origin of our summit? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, talk, let's just talk about why have a summit at all. Like, what's the, what's the point of it? What, what kind of pushed us to say, hey, you know, I think this is something else we need to offer on top of everything we're already doing. Well, there's many reasons. So the Autism in Black Foundation is actually who is hosting this summit. So it is a completely free summit, thanks to our nonprofit. And I really think it, it speaks to our mission of trying to get the information out to the masses. And one, one of the ways of doing that is having free summits like this. So it really spoke to our mission. It spoke to a special interest of mine when we're talking about the topic of being a Black autistic woman, a Black autistic girl. For those of you who don't know, I'm autistic. Our oldest is autistic. So this summit is for me and her as well, because it's what we are experiencing. But in general, for our summits, we wanted to offer free education to our community that you can utilize to advocate for your children, for yourselves, for your clients. So here we are. What I think is important, because obviously when we do our yearly conference, which is coming up on year number five next year. Yes. One of the things that obviously gets talked about is, hey, you know, we love this conference, but you know what? Like, where's the free stuff? Right. Like we always that's always a comment, which is always comical because obviously we do the podcast, we do the blog, we do all these other things here that free. But I think we also set out to say, hey, you know what? Let's make sure that we are satisfying the needs of our community and giving them the opportunity, like even if they can't pay for a conference ticket to maybe still enjoy kind of the community that Autism in Black has really grown and empowered over these years while also getting some learning and some education. So I think that was, you know, definitely a big, you know, to do for us. And this is definitely just the first of many things that we have planned in the future for it, right? So we're doing another virtual summit, which again, I think people tend to enjoy because they get to do it from the comfort of their own home and, yes. you know, still be able to, you know, work or, you know, take care of family or just take, take, take care of themselves because they don't really want to travel. 
right? And, and the fact that we're able to offer it for free is definitely be a bonus, right? Which means again, and we will provide links on the show notes and links at the end of the show uh, for those who want to register for it, because by the time this records, it'll be about two weeks out. Uh, so we definitely want to make sure you are there and available. For those who are thinking, hey, you know what? I don't think Black autistic girls and, and women even need their own date, right? What would you say? The research says otherwise. When you're looking at research that specifically talks about Black autistic girls and women, we are considered intersectionally invisible. And that means we are not in the research. And it it actually really does matter because we're out here. We need a specialized supports. We need people to understand that our voices matter. So yes, we do need a summit that focuses on what it means to be a Black autistic girl and woman. Intersectionality matters when we're talking about being Black, being disabled, and being a female, being a woman, being a girl, being female presenting, any of those things, it matters because oftentimes we are talking to the most oppressed communities in that aspect. So what can can someone expect, right? First of all, let me start. Who are the people who should be attending, you know, a, a summit like this? Who are who are the, you know, the audience, I should say, that should be attending a summit so like this? So if you are a parent or caregiver raising a Black autistic girl, if you have raised a Black autistic who is now a woman, if you are a Black autistic girl, woman, or female presenting, and if you are a professional who is working with any of said populations that I just mentioned, then this summit is for you. And what what could they expect on in, during the summit after the summit? What what are some things that you would you know you want them to be able to take a jump? Because I think one thing that I love about the conference, our yearly conference, is not only do they get have a great time, an enjoyable weekend, but they also take a lot of actionable tips that they can apply on Monday. And mm-hmm. I think that was obviously a big thing for me and you. When mm-hmm. we said we were going to do this conference, we said we want things that you don't just go and have the high of a conference and then go about your Monday like everything's back to normal. Like, no, we want you to be able to take the information during the weekend and to be able to apply it that Monday at the school, you know, the second you get over there. So what are some things that you would like some of your future guests to be able to kind of get and grasp from this summit? Well, one thing, especially if you haven't been to any of our annual conferences, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is cultivating a safe space for the learning, right? We know that what is said in the space stays in the space, but the learning that happens is what we take out of the space. And so we are really adamant about having safe spaces for our community. So even in these summits, you will get that safe space. And also there will be a lot of learning happening. We are covering so many topics. We have sexual health, menstrual health. We have advocating for Black girls in the school, transitioning into adulthood, right? What it means to be navigating the space as a Black autistic woman, an an adult, right? What it means for puberty and how to have those conversations with your child, or if you're a child, how to have that conversation with your parent, right? So we are going to be covering a lot of topics just for that day. So it's going to be feeling like information overload. But again, one thing we pride ourselves is also trying to get a lot of information in in the little time that we have our attendees with us. You know, so funny funny story for my lunch in our community and those who, you know, the hundreds and thousands, millions, whatever, who may see this in the future. I remember one day I was going upstairs, right? And my son had gotten to one of these like crystal light fruit flavor flavoring, right? Powdered, right? And put it all in the toilet. Of course, it's like fruit, the fruit punch flavor when it says red. And I remember I go upstairs and I just see a red bowl. In the, and I'm like, I got it's today to day. I have to have my conversation with my oldest daughter. Of course, Maria is nowhere to be around. I think she was out of town or something. I, I forget what she was in. And I'm just like, and then it, it took me about 30 seconds to realize that, okay, what I think I'm looking at in the toilet is not what I'm looking at, but it quickly reminded me oh, I need to be prepared because mm-hmm. this is a conversation that I'm going to have to have sooner rather than later, right? With my oldest daughter. So I can tell you, you are going to have a topic of conversation that we are going to talk about during this summit. You might want to be all ears for, you know, parents, 
caretakers, professionals. Like, and it is something that we need to be ready, be prepared for. And like I said, with this summit, I, I'm very excited because it looks like you're having two options, right? So obviously you're going to have the live conversations going on. But it looks like you're also having some pre-recorded conversations going on as well, too. Is that the- it is? So the summit, a general pass, is free for everyone. You can watch those sessions live on the day it's happening. If you are busy that day, or you're going to want more time to process all of the information, you have the option to upgrade to our all-access pass, which gives you access to an exclusive workbook and lifetime access to the recordings, as well as a post-conference group processing session with me. And then for our professionals who are in my my field. If you are a licensed clinician, then we are also offering the opportunity to purchase six CE hours, live hours, meaning you have to be on from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on October 19th to get those CE hours. And so we do have uh, multiple options, but I just want to circle back to that story you told and give my version of it because I definitely was not home. And when I got home, he was very nervous. And he was telling me what happened. And what I learned from that one is that we've briefly had that conversation with her, but it was in in passing and me showing her things. But that also showed me that we have to have that conversation as a family and Mm -hmm. prepare for such. So since then, we have made sure to do that. And it is a conversation that can be completely uncomfortable because you don't know what's coming out your kid's mouth or what they've learned and things like that. But this summit is going to help you with that. We have Dr. Lex Brown-James, who is a certified sexologist. She is also a licensed therapist, and this is her niche. And she is going to be talking with us about having those conversations with our children and what we can do to best support them. So that is going to be one conversation that you're not going to want to miss because it is going to help you with what we consider taboo conversations, uncomfortable conversations, and how to make it not uncomfortable because it is a fact of life that we have to deal with. And we'd rather have our children be prepared than unprepared, especially when we're talking about children who have disabilities, who are neurodivergent, right? Because those conversations are different from, and it just doesn't happen in the manner of, oh, we're talking about it. Now you understand. These are conversations that have to continue and continue and continue because we worry about things like consent, because we worry about people manipulating them and things like that. So our conversations are quite different. And that's why we're having summits like these to prepare you as a parent to be able to have these conversations. I love it. And let's give the information. Of course, remember, it will be in the show notes, but let's get information again, how they can register for this amazing free virtual summit that you got to be there. And what's the date again, just so we can make sure we hit in the beginning. Andy, October 19th. It's a Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. My professionals, I want to see you get your CE credit hours for this. Um, So make sure you're upgrading for that pass. For those of you who are busy that day or have something going on, no worries. Get that all-access pass. You get lifetime access to the recordings. But you can go to autisminblack.org slash girls summit 24. Girls summit 24. It will take you to our registration page. You'll see the speakers. You'll see their topics. And you you'll be able to choose the level of participation that you want. So we want to see you there though. The person who has to create these pages. So <laughs> you can get, obviously you can get a free ticket. You can get the notes done for you, right? So you don't even have to write your own notes. You can get the notes done for you. You can get the CE credits. You can get the all access pass or you get a combination of the things. So like we are here to make sure that you are well taken care of. We would love for you to join live. If you do have the all access pass, you can actually ask questions during the conversation as well, too. If you don't have the all access pass, you can't ask questions, but you get to be able to soak in and listen to people who have asked questions or uh, submitted questions. So we are very, very excited uh, to be bringing this to you. Like I said, because the April conference, again, obviously isn't until April. And we felt that like, hey, we got to keep offering things that lead up to the conference. So yeah. people are excited for the conference. And if you figure out like, hey, they're willing to give this amazing event for free. Imagine what the conference is going to be like. So I'm just excited all around for this. Again, this is our first year doing this summit, but obviously it's going to be the first of many, right? This is something that we will do every single year all right, to keep driving home the fact that our community 
needs to be observed, looked at, recognized, and more importantly, taken care of, because unfortunately that's not happening. Exactly. We're very excited about the summit. As Dr. Barry was saying, there's even an option to get the notes on every session. That is an accommodation that I know I appreciate at times. That way I'm able to hone in on listening and I can just review the notes later. So that is an accommodation that we're providing because we know that oftentimes that our population that we're serving is also neurodivergent. So you can upgrade and get that option as well. We are ecstatic about having the summit. As I said, this is a passion project or topic of my own and a passion of my own research because I am a late diagnosed Black autistic woman, right? And I'm raising a Black autistic little girl. And what I have seen out there, there's people, they're they're not talking about us. They're not talking about the specialized supports that we need. They're not including us in, in conversations. And now, We are included in those conversations because we created a summit that consistently focuses on. So I really want to see you guys there. Remember, it is free at the basic level. You have the opportunity to upgrade to all the other amazing things, but please make sure you join us and register and get get this ticket because it it really matters. Thank you, Brian. And how can someone follow you and you know, kind of get into your, the autism and black world. Can you, drop, can you drop a few of your socials as well? Again, remember, it will be in the show notes. The easiest way is go to our website, autismandblack.org. It tells you how to work with us. It gives you links to our Shopify page, to all of our socials, to our podcast, to our upcoming blogs. It has, again, all of our socials there. I'm most active on Instagram and Facebook. My Instagram handle is Autism in Black. My Facebook handle is Autism in BLK. And connect with us, right? And again, I want to see you at that October 19th summit. Thank you, Marie. Thank you.